What's up guys, it's Sophie. It is really cold in my room right now, so that's why I have a hoodie on. Don't look really presentable, but I just wanted to pop in and make this intro really quickly. So I recently did my first photo shoot over FaceTime, my first virtual photo shoot, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Obviously, since we're all in quarantine right now, or we should all be in quarantine, all of my shoots have been rescheduled to mid to late summer just because a lot of my clients are worried as they should be I'm worried I don't get to shoot right now that's like one of the few things that keeps me sane so I was like let me just do a photo shoot over FaceTime I found some pictures of other photographers who have done it and I put together like a board that I kind of like I sent it to a model that I've worked with before and yeah I did a FaceTime photo shoot I'm gonna share that with you guys right now So I sent Sophia, the model, some reference pictures that inspired the shoot and then we tried our best to kind of build off our shoot from those pictures. I would say the biggest challenge of doing a shoot over FaceTime is you really have no type of lighting control whatsoever. You kind of just get to control the angles and what the model is wearing and that's basically it. So I tried my best to play around with the angles and direct Sophia to angle the camera how I saw fit for the photo and then I also like tried my best to just direct posing over the camera which is like harder than it seems. I would say a big chunk of any shoot that I do is me referencing back to reference photos or the mood board and then switching back to taking pictures. So like that very last picture, yeah, so kind of like up close. I did notice right off the bat how low stakes photographing over FaceTime really is because there are so many things that are out of your control. All you can really do is just press the screenshot button and then hope for the best. These images took me about, I wanna say 10 minutes to create a filter for, and then I kinda just copied and pasted the same filter onto every single image and then made edits along the way. But because the lighting was the same in essentially every single image, I really didn't have to make that many drastic edits. I kinda just created one filter and then applied it to all of the photos. So after about 15 minutes of taking pictures, we had more than enough to wrap up the shoot, so then I started editing. I've literally been asked multiple times to do an editing tutorial, but I honestly like don't even think I know how to edit myself. I literally just play around with Lightroom Creative Cloud until I see something that I like or something that resembles film because I really like the look of film. And then I kind of just call it a day and then start copy and pasting my filters. But there was one really good Lightroom tutorial that kind of taught me about all of the basics of the program that I can link in the description box, but I 
kind of just play around with the features until I see something that I like. If you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you liked my photography slash want to see more photography videos i feel like a lot of people that follow me on here don't know that i'm also a photographer so yeah you can follow my photography account if you want i'll put it like right here and yeah my camera is literally about to die so i'm gonna head out and i will see you all next week with another new video bye